What's up, YouTube? So, you've got your Scholar program going. You've got over at least 50 accounts created, all secured by your Trezor wallet. And now you're wondering, do you need to buy another one of these in order to secure another 50 accounts? Well, let's find out. <laughs> All right, before we get started, I do wanna mention all my social media handles here. I do stream on Twitch, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. I do have a Watch to Earn program, so if you're looking for a scholarship or if you have any questions about setting up your treasure or anything Axie related, hop into my stream. If you'd like to reach me outside of my Twitch stream, you could join my Discord, link in the details below. We've got an amazing community growing there. I'd love for you to stop by, join the community, and drop your question. So with this video, I am assuming that you understand a few things about the Trezor hardware wallet in regards to setting it up with Axie Infinity and the limitations of it. Uh, if you haven't watched any of my videos uh, about setting it up and how you secure your scholars with it, um, check out the links on the screens that you see now and watch those videos and then come back to this video, all right? All right, so one of the things we need to understand is that the Ronin wallet itself has a limitation on how many accounts it can actually hold. They are talking about expanding these limits so who knows when that happens that would be nice um but that is a limitation so when you get past 20 scholars um you'll need to create a whole another ronin wallet and then connect your 20 20 uh 20 treasure accounts to it and and so on and so forth right i will put how to do that at the end of the video if you don't know how to create another ronin wallet now that we've talked about the ronin limitations let's talk about the treasure limitations right so each digital wallet within the hardware wallet only has 50 ethereum addresses for you to use right so if i have created three different ronin wallets and i've got 20 uh, i've got 20 treasure accounts on this one i've got 20 treasure accounts on the second one and i have a 10 on the third ronin wallet so there's 50. i can't go beyond that so i can show you this if i go to connect hardware wallet here and i try to connect if i go to connect my hardware wallet you're gonna see here i got 10 20 30 40 50 i've got 50 maximum ethereum addresses these 50 ethereum addresses are on a specific hidden wallet if i pull up my treasure suite this is the application from trezor right you're gonna see i've got two different hidden wallets right i've got hidden wallet number two and i've got my treasure treasure main wallet that's hidden so this is the one i'm actually using right now this wallet right here this paxi wallet has 50 Ethereum addresses on it. Those 50 Ethereum addresses are these 50 right here, okay? So these 50 Ethereum addresses are actually the, are actually connected to this hidden wallet, this one right here. So what you need to do, if you want another 50 Ethereum addresses to use, you don't have to buy a whole nother Trezor wallet. All you have to do is create another hidden wallet. And to do that, all you do is add wallet, Type in, a, type in a passphrase that you want it to be, whatever it may be. Access hidden wallet. Confirm it on your Trezor. Check and balances. It's gonna say, confirm that I'm trying to enter an empty hidden wallet. So what, in essence, what this is doing is it's creating a another hidden digital wallet with a whole nother 50 Ethereum addresses for you to use, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna log into this with the uh, passcode I just created that I wanna use for this hidden wallet. I confirm it on my Trezor and boom. I've got it right here. Confirm the enabling of labeling on my Trezor and boom, I've created another wallet. I've got three hidden wallets now. So theoretically, not theoretically, I have 150 Ethereum addresses to use. I've got a 50 in this one. I've got 50 in this one, and I've got 50 in this one, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show this to you. Open up a my wallet here. I'm gonna go ahead, connect hardware wallet. Connect wallet, allow ones, export. And now when you get to this page where it asks you to enter the passphrase, you're gonna enter the passphrase, well, I'm gonna enter it on my device, but you're gonna enter the passphrase for whichever wallet you want to access right so we've got like like i mentioned we've got three different hidden wallets all with three different passphrases 
So all I have to do is enter the passphrase for whichever wallet I want to use. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna, this one that I just created, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to log into this one. So now you see I've got this zero ETH right here. Well, let me show you uh, if you remember uh, the main wallet, it had some ETH there, right? So I, you can also check this by going to the actual Ronin here and uh, and you can see this 5F, uh, this 5FDE isn't this 5FDE, right? So we know that, and this is the, the, the first one that I had used. Um, so this is a whole nother 50 Ethereum addresses for me to use. And I could connect this if I wanted to, to the Ronin, no problem. Boom, there it is. A whole nother 50 Ethereum addresses. All you have to do is create another hidden wallet uh, with a completely different passphrase and you just input whichever wallets, Ethereum addresses you want to access when you get to that portion of entering the passphrase. Simple as that. All right, so if you're watching this video and you don't know how to create another Ronin wallet, I'll show you real quick. You just, all you have to do is come up here um, and you're just gonna remove the Ronin extension. So remove it, boom. You, you should have bookmarked it by now. Uh, so you always bookmark everything that's related to crypto. So I bookmarked it, so I know that that's my bookmark. I'm gonna click on that. It's here. I'm just gonna go add to Firefox, and just like we did when you made your when you created your initial wallet, you're just gonna go through the entire process again, right? So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna get it added to our uh, our extension here. We're gonna go. I'm gonna I'm new. Let's start a new one. I'm gonna put in all my information in and create a whole new Ronin wallet. Super simple. And then you've got another 20 accounts, and then you just. Keep creating as many Ronin wallets as you need to. Um, hopefully they change it in the future and the Ronin wallets can actually hold more than 20 accounts. Um, would love for that to be a thing, but um, but it's not, not yet. If it is and you have more than 20 accounts in your Ronin wallet, please let me know so I can update this video. But as far as I'm aware, uh, according to Sky Mavis, you can only have 20 accounts on the Ronin wallet. Boom, super simple, right? I truly believe everyone should have one of these. It's the only true way right now to secure your assets uh, and you can literally have a thousand scholars or even more uh, all secured by your treasure wallet you have unlimited ethereum addresses to use unlimited hidden wallets you can create um, and it's just it's very simple to use um, so if you enjoyed this video if it was helpful please subscribe hit that like that like button maybe hit the little notification bell so you're notified when i post a new video again i do stream on twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 a.m. to 1.30. So if you have any questions, just hop into my stream and, and hit me up there or join my Discord and hit me up on Discord. With all that said, as always, have a great night, a great morning, a great day. God bless. Be awesome. We'll see you next time. Peace.